welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be doing the very first steps of our room bedroom renovation. I did mention in my last video that we were going to have a, a room um, renovation kind of series coming up soon, and that's coming up actually very soon. But the very first steps to that is actually taking down my bookcases. Now I do have them up here and I'll show you how they're, they are, but I have a lot of books. And unfortunately with the renovating and the kind of rearranging that we're going to be doing, they don't longer fit. And unfortunately we don't have space to keep them here uh, in the house. So some of them will go into storage, <laughs> poor babies. And then others I will definitely want to kind of um, give away you know, to Goodwill or something like that, just so they can have a, a new life. I have a lot of old school books um, and just books that I really don't um, kind of, you know, need, I guess, you know. So I'll definitely be going through that. And that's the problem. <laughs> I mean, I kind of have an idea of which are going to be which. Like, of course, I know which ones I'm going to keep for sure. But the others, you know, I just have even a hard time getting rid of the ones that I really don't need, like the book, the the school books. I don't need them, but I still want to have them, you know, but it's a book hoarder issue. I mean, it's really bad. Anyways, so that will definitely go. Um, those will go away. So I need to sort them and see where's going, you know, who's going where. But even that's like a whole ordeal. But um, we'll see. We'll see where we go. But um I'm going to show you the bookcases. I mean, they're they're pretty, pretty loaded. And the ones that I'm going to keep, I don't even know where I'm going to store. I, we do have a storage unit, and that's pretty much packed to the brim. So I think it might end up being that we need a slightly bigger storage unit, just because I might have to buy, like, I think three or four of, you know, quite big, um, you know, um, plastic boxes. Uh, to keep them in and I need to have I need to buy a, you know archival paper just to make sure that they're nice um, and and cover because I'm just worried about the humidity in there uh I just hope that you know I don't know for the time that they're there I hope that they don't get damaged I hope that they just I'm just really worried and in the meantime I guess I'll have to buy a Kindle or some kind of like reading device because I can't buy any more books, you know, which I love to do. That's like one of my favorite things to do is just go and buy a book, stroll the bookstore, you know. But I guess I could go to, for example, I could go to Barnes, <laughs> Barnes and Nobles and, you know, stroll and see what book I like and then, you know, kind of go into the Kindle or the Nook and, and find it and buy, and buy it there, you know. Uh, unless they're like very, very, very special books, you know. So I guess we, we could do that for the time being until we... um until we have a, a dedicated, you know, uh, space for the books, like my own library, for example. <laughs> one day, one day, I will come here and I will show you a library that we have built or something that can store all these books and, you know, it's gonna be a beautiful space. But for, for now, they'll have to go into storage and, oh, just looking at it makes me, makes me a little nervous because I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm gonna show you right now. It's it's a lot. It is a lot. Yeah. We'll see. Okay, guys. So here is like the basic view of my bookshelves. Okay. There is a lot of them in there. I mean, it's a lot. And actually on this one here, those are two rows. So that's one row and then a second row um, behind, uh, in front of that. So, you know, it's a lot. And just like here to all of that, are just two rows of books now this is the side of the um of the bookshelf that will need the most you know i mean that will go to you know to to goodwill um the most that didn't make sense a lot of the books on this side of the shelf are the ones that are going to be donated these over here are my very 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 special books and if you can see there um, you can probably make out a few titles, but these are very, very bo special books to me. Um, so I can definitely, you know, I know I'll definitely keep those, but it's these here that I have 
that a lot of them will definitely um, kind of end up going, not a lot, not, mo not, not all of them, of course, but a lot of them will definitely end up going um, to Goodwill uh, on that. But this is my dilemma. We are going to change, as you can see, the bed is on this side. So we're going to change the bed here and have our little um, night nightstand here. So the bookshelves have to come away. The mirror, excuse me, the mirror has to come out. Um, the desk will also not be there anymore. I have a few things here right next to my desk, you know, like my little cart and this big thing. I don't even know how to call it wardrobe i guess <laughs> that's leaving for sure so i am also we're also going to get a new bed with um drawers um you know on the sides so we can definitely empty that out and have just a little bit more space in the room that's our biggest issue is that we need space and also i do have windows on this side of the room so i definitely want to put kind of the the desk i want to put it on this side over here that way it'll be close to the windows i'll have a little bit more you know light i can definitely open them up uh so you know it will be um uh it'll be much better uh that way or at least we're hoping um yes so the color scheme that we have gone with is a gray because it's very neutral um so we are going to paint these three walls this wall i'm right here this wall behind me and then this one uh this one and that one gray and then here on this wall we are going to paper it uh it's a peel and stick wallpaper is very beautiful it is like a black and white gray um color scheme to it so it does match and what we're going to do is my idea is you know though these are very cold neutral colors so i'm going to kind of warm up the room um, with the decor that I end up um, going for so for example we are keeping our little nightstands which is kind of the same th um, the same furniture here so these are gray I want to either paint them a nice kind of gold or um, you know get maybe get new knobs if, if that's what we decide to do but for now that's getting way, over, way ahead of ourselves just a little bit of a sneak peek there but for now we're going to focus on this giant issue that I have of <laughs> my bookcases, and we will see what we do. Okay, so this turned into a storage video into, I'm sorry, a good a goodwill video into a storage video. So I'm basically, I'm just gonna start picking things off of the shelf, and if I find something along the way that I think is good for goodwill, or just to give away, then I will put that aside. For now, I'm just gonna, I have to start taking down this because if not, then I will never finish or start my, the, the renovation. So, <sighs> here we go. I've only cleared this, I'm not even, not even all the way to the last um, of, the, of the first shelf, but these, the ones that I took off and the ones that are there, these are my art books. I mean, yes, these are school books, but, these are great to have, you know, as like a coffee table book, you know, one day because, you know, it has to be one day because I can't put it in, in my coffee table now because, you know, but these are great books. These are great art books. Look, Jansen's History of Art, Cuban Art, which, you know, come on, oh, History of Renaissance Art, which is my favorite, and world art you know it's just something to peruse through kind of just look around maybe get inspired by something you know so i think those will definitely go into into storage um and then i will okay so this is what's happening so these are the ones that i'm going to kind of keep these are the art books but these are the ones I have decided not to keep. These are all of my, they're all school books, but they're also really great, interesting books. I just don't have the space for them, you know. Once I can have a large library, more extensive, then I can definitely, um, you know, I guess, you know, like not maybe not buy them again because that would be, you know, but, you know, I can just have more books at that time. 
you know and this is so far that I'm going to be putting in um, in storage and that's just two shelves two shelves I still have that and I still have all of this so we'll see oh man this is really you know it's bad I don't know I just it's just so many books so many books but ultimately it has to happen you know and those two over there are uh in my t these are the only two in my to be read pile so that's good hi yeah yeah we'll see okay so this is my little bag of um taking to goodwill as you can see it already broke very nice very nice so i have to put it in a bigger bag there are still others that need look at this just look at this not good but um there are still others like these here that need to go into um boxes or actually no not boxes bags but i need a really big bag so the ones that i am going to keep um in storage i mean so these up here and these over there i am i'm going to um i bought a box actually i bought three giant um plastic containers and that's where i'm going to put them hopefully they all fit and they do fit in my storage unit so let's see let's see what we get little by little okay y'all oh please excuse my dirty laundry i'm using <laughs> this to pack up all the books okay just bring them all down pack them all in and take them downstairs i got the bins i have to take this downstairs uh, i got the bins and so they're too heavy they are way too heavy to take down um full so we're almost done with this one that's it that was the last row and then we are on to these very special books of mine some of them are staying my harry potter collection is definitely gonna stay um and i want me one or two others but everything else is packing in so we'll see how it goes okay guys here it is the finished product of the bookcases all completely gone and bare it feels very very weird now the next step of course is we're gonna take down the planks and all of the little things kind of you know put them away in storage because you never know when you might need them again but there she is i have the wallpaper coming in and um i think that's it you know once we have all that going forward we just have to pick a weekend and start the refresh